welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket. Okay, so this year we're trying back to school a little differently and we're doing a virtual uh, back to school. And it's uh, anytime access, meaning this is a taped video. So all the information you can either access in the morning or in the afternoon off when you get off work or at nighttime. Uh, so we want to be available for you for any time. So to contact teachers during this time, please use their email and I'm going to show you how to do that. Hello everybody, welcome to back to school night. And we're here today, we're going to do our introductions, we're going to talk about the best ways to communicate with the school, talk about the ACES program, any new things like the STEM room going on, breakfast and lunch. We'll discuss Title I and parent involvement. Uh, we'll discuss how you can help out here uh, with the school, with the school site council to help make decisions, as well as our English Language Learner Committee. So first off, I want to announce the Fremont Primary Annual Scholastic Book Fair that started on Monday. Uh, it's going to be done online this year. Um, all Everything is virtual, so here's the info. If you go to scholastic.com slash BF slash Fremont Primary School, and the link will be down below, um, you can help us out and get some books, and we'll all benefit. Good morning, guys. Uh, this is Mr. Monroe, principal here at Fremont. And uh, we're going to start our back to school day, and I want to do some introductions first. So we're going to go into the office. All right. So here we are in the office. So we're going to do some introductions. Hi, I'm Mrs. Walker. Don't forget to sign on every morning. Attendance is very important. And hi, we miss you. Don't forget to wear your mask and wash your hands often. Hello students and families, I'm Mrs. Mendoza, I'm the TK teacher, and I'm very happy to start a new school year with your children. I'm looking forward to a great school year. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Romero, I'm a kindergarten teacher here at Fremont Primary. Uh, even though distance learning has been a challenge, it has brought me great joy to be able to interact with my students daily through technology. Um, at this time, I would like to thank parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and anybody else who's helping our students from home. You're greatly appreciated. I am looking forward to a wonderful school year. Thank you. Bye. My name is Miss Valadez. I am a kindergarten teacher. I have my Miss Valadez Masketeers in my class. I am really excited about this school year. It is different, but we are going to get through this. We're a strong school and a strong knit family. I wish all of you a safe and exciting 2021 school year. I'm Mrs. Fong. I'm a kindergarten teacher and welcome to kindergarten. Good morning, this is Mrs. Farrell, first grade teacher. <clears throat> I'd like to give a great big shout out to my first graders. students, I'm Miss Achutegi and I teach first grade. I am so excited for this school year. We got this. Let's do it, Hornets. Yay! Hi, everybody. My name is Mrs. Counts. I'm a first grade teacher here at Fremont Primary School in Calipat. This is my 17th year of teaching, 16 in the district, and I was born and raised in Calipat, class of 99. Go Hornets. Don't do the math. I'm excited to do some virtual teaching. I'm excited to see my students every day logging on. I hope everybody stays safe, safe, healthy, and happy. Thank you. I'm Mrs. Olish. I teach second grade here at Fremont Primary School. I'm looking forward to a great year. I'm Mrs. Bye. Barajas. I teach second grade at Fremont Primary, and I look forward to a great year with your child. Bye. Hello, my name is Ms. Vidro. I teach second grade. Um, I hope we get to see you soon. and. Let's have a great year. Hello, I'm Mr. Driscoll. I'm the kindergarten through second grade um, special education teacher. I know that we're facing a lot of challenges this year, but I'm still really excited to be working with all the wonderful kids at Fremont Primary. Hello, parents and students. I am Mrs. Gaitan. 
I'm a special ed education teacher here at Fremont Primary. And I would like to welcome everyone to this school year. Uh, if you have any needs, any concerns, parents, make sure to contact me. I'm always willing to help you out uh, with any concerns that you might have regarding your child's education, whether it's in special ed or in general ed. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ms. Thu. I'm the speech pathologist for Calipatria Unified School District, and I'll be working with your child if they have speech and language services. Thank you very much. If you need to contact me, feel free to come to my room, room one, anytime to talk about it. Thank you. I'm not one of the third grade teachers, and I'm excited to start this year. Hi, everyone. I'm Mrs. Seves, and I'm a third grade teacher. Hi, I'm Mrs. Peck, and I am one of the third grade teachers at Fremont. Hi, this is Ms. Gray. I'm one of the third grade teachers here at Fremont Primary. I'm very excited to get going this school year. Hi, I'm Mrs. Arroyo, a fourth grade teacher at Fremont Primary, and I can't wait to have you guys back in the classroom. My name is Mrs. Stewart. This is my second year teaching fourth grade at Fremont Primary. I am in room 14. If you have any questions, you can get a hold of me through the office at 348-5025. Hello, my name is Mr. Lara. I am a fourth grade teacher here at Fremont Primary. I can't wait to have you back into the classroom where I could torture you all your life. I mean, teach you. <laughs> have a great day and see you soon. Hi, I'm Mrs. Reyes. I'm an instructional assistant. I work with students in kinder through third grade. Um, I'm thankful for technology because I've been able to work with students uh, through Zoom uh, with their uh, distance learning. Awesome, I can't wait to see you guys. I miss everyone. Bye. Uh, good morning. I'm Mrs. Cervantes. Uh, I'm an instructional assistant, and I work with kinder through third grade. So have a great day, and God bless. Goodbye. Hi, guys. I'm Mrs. Cervantes. I work with kinder through second grade. Um, just letting you know that we miss you guys, and we hope to see you soon, and please stay safe. Oh, I'm Mrs. Magdaleno. I'm working with fourth grade and first grade this year. Most of my fourth graders have been with me since first grade, so we've been together several years now. I know we're going through some trying times, but I want you to know that we'll be back together soon. In the meantime, I want you to study hard and stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hello, Fremont Primary. I'm Miss Beltran, and I'm your computer lab technician and also work with ACES students. Hope you have a great year. Hey guys, this is Miss Gonzalez. I am teaching third and fourth grade with Mrs. Gaitan, and I can't wait to see you this year. So stay safe, see you soon. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alan Casey, and I'll be working with Fremont Primary School again. This will be my second year. I'm a part of the AmeriCorps program, and I'm going to be working with third and fourth grade. I'm super excited for the school year to work with the faculty, the staff, and all the students, and it's going to be an exciting year. So my name is Pablo Torres, and I'm also an AmeriCorps member. This will be my first year working with Fremont Primary School. And I am super excited to get to know all the staff, the faculty, and especially the students. We got to work with them and make sure that social distancing learning can be fun for them. So I'm very excited for this year. Hey, hello. This is Celia Garcia, and I'm a custodian over here uh, from a primary school. Welcome, everybody. All right, so next up is communication. So now with the Orange Distance Learning, it's more critical even that we communicate well between the school and families. So best ways we figure to uh, get information from us is to follow us on Facebook at the FPS Calipat web um, page on Facebook or watching our YouTube channel that we have for Fremont Primary News. Another good way to communicate with us and to keep up to date is at our Fremont Primary website, the official school site website, which is fps.calipatriahornets.org. Also feel free to call the office uh, whenever you need us here at 760-348-5025 and we'll be happy to assist you. If you need to come by the school, just give us a call in the office and we'll go out and meet you and we'll take care of whatever business we need to take care of. A quick reminder, a grab and go lunch will be served every day from Monday through Friday um, here from 10 to 11 a.m. in front of the Fremont Cafeteria as well as in Nyland at Great Smith Cafeteria. Uh, Fridays will include breakfast and lunch for Saturday and Sunday. Students do not need to be present. However, lunches are served for from ages 0 to 18. So if you have someone from 0 to 4 who's not enrolled in our school or an 18-year-old who's not en enrolled at Calipatria, then they need to be present to pick up a lunch.
Next up is ACES. We are still running our ACES program, but it's doing it over distance learning. And we have our Fremont Primary News that kids can work on. We have some art. We have a reading intervention. We have homework center. Um, and we have a couple of other things. So if you're interested in signing up your child up for ACES via Zoom, just email us at fps-aces at calipat.com and we'll sign your child up. We're super excited. We received a grant from the USDA and also a small grant from Walmart in Calexico. They sent us some money to put together a STEM room and we'll be doing that. And it's going to have some 3D printers and it's going to have robots and microscopes. And we're going to work on green energy. It's going to be super exciting. All right, next up is Title I. And Title I is a federal program that provides additional academic support and learning opportunities for our students. This program is intended to ensure that all students meet academic standards. So we use this money to make sure that we have uh, things that will help kids uh, do better in school. So we have technology, we have tutoring, we have programs, we have interventions. We have all these things in place. We also have a parent and family engagement policy and a compact, which most of you all signed at the beginning of the year when we sent home the packets uh, and they're already returned and signed. And those uh, that compact and this policy is having to do with, it needs to be reported to you that we have a Title I policy, uh, that it uh, we provide meetings like uh, school site council and NELAC and DLAC, that we get your input. We provide information on our curriculum and assessments. Um, we also are here to discuss any decisions made about your child's education. And the parents have the right to be involved in the planning of our school. Uh, most of the planning is done at the school site council level and with the teachers and any parent input. So you have a couple things. You can join the school site council if uh, you want to put your name in to be voted in, or you can just attend a school site council meeting and give input. Um, if you have other ideas, just you can call, call me here at the school or email me and give me those ideas. We are always interested in parent input. We're also obligated to inform parents if their children are being taught by teachers who are not credentialed. And here at Fremont Primary, all of our teachers are credentialed. So distance learning has been tough on all of us and it's nobody's idea of a perfect world, but we have to make do since we're in this situation with COVID. Uh, and we were real, real proud of the students, uh, how they're behaving and how well the teachers are handling it. And especially you guys, the parents at home, uh, how you're all working together to make sure that we're successful. So as we move on, we just wanna make sure that we go over some of the etiquette uh, that, that we need to have kids doing uh, as they go through the lessons. We have a little treat today. We have a quick video from Layla and Jaslyn from our ACES program and they're going to show us the do's and don'ts to Zoom learning. Hi, my name is Layla. I'm going to show you one example of what you should do and should not do your own. Hi, my name is Jaslyn and I will be showing you one of the Zoom rules that we have to follow during Zoom class. Um, to do it. <laughs> right way to do it. So first off, make sure uh, in your house that you establish a nice, safe environment, uh, learning environment where they have a little desk, a little, you know, their school supplies, and it's nice and quiet. Make sure the kids attend class regularly. If they don't, if they can't attend class, make sure that you call the office, not just the teacher, just like beforehand. If there's absent, you need to call the office. Uh, check their online work regularly. So talk to your kids about what the, what's due and make sure you check it and make sure it's turned in. Communicate regularly with their classroom teacher. See if the kids need any extra support. Um, allow plenty of breaks. Make sure students are, are in a quiet place, uh, ready for school, not laying in bed. You know, make sure their camera's on, that, it's, that they're dressed well, that their mind is on school. And be careful uh, when, you know, in the environment. So, you know, no screaming in the background and try to get as quiet as, quiet as possible. We appreciate all your support and thank you very much.
Okay, so we want you to be able to contact uh, our teachers and ask them any questions. You're going to go to our website. You can go to the Contact Us tab. Go to Staff. And it'll take you right down to wherever. So you have first grade and you have the teacher's names. And if you need to contact them, you just press on their email and it'll take you right there. You can ask them any questions and they will be happy to respond to you. So that concludes the information part of this. Um, back to school night. If you need to contact the tech me at elmanroy at calipat.com, as well as we will be having teacher parent conferences in a few weeks uh, to answer any specific questions about your your individual child. So I have a treat to end off with. We have a video put together by a pair of professionals showing the kids how to keep it clean and stay safe. And we hope to see you soon. Bye.